In the world of culinary arts, envision a bustling restaurant kitchen where a skilled chef tirelessly works creating delicious meals for an hourly wage. The chef works the floor and educates customers in the restaurant about the horse cheese on the pizza, which is actually a stretched curd made using the milk of a rare Italian cow called the Podolica. In the summer months, the farmers move their Podolica to the mountains to feast on strawberries, blueberries and cherries. And as a result of this diet, the milk and cheese develop an elegant fruity flavor. And at $36 a pound, you'll enjoy a smattering of this exquisite cheese on our signature margarita. True story, go to thecheesewanker.com to fact check it. And they offer these insights to their customers for free in the hope that they'll eat more shit off the menu. However, just a few steps away, there exists another chef, a consulting chef, a maverick chef, if you like, who has recognized the true value of her expertise. Instead of being limited to a single restaurant, she's transformed her intellectual property into a marketable brand. She's packaged up her culinary wisdom, innovative techniques, and unique flavors into various products. These include a cookbook brimming with tantalizing recipes, a line of signature ingredients and kitchen tools, and even her own cooking show. She's realized that her true worth lies not only in the act of cooking, but also in the profound insights and creativity that she contributes to the culinary world. Now, a good chef in Australia gets paid about 80 grand a year. Let's call it 100. Fuck it, let's call it 120 grand a year. Jamie Oliver's net worth is over $200 million. Most web design and digital agencies resemble the first chef as they freely give away their most valuable insights in the hope of attracting clients who will then hire them for their standard range of services, such as SEO, ad management, web design, copywriting, and everything else that's rapidly become a commodity. However, the true value lies in the agency's ability to think strategically and offer unique insights that can help a client use the interwebs to achieve their business goals. In other words, the most valuable thing you can do for your client and the thing they will pay you the most for is the very thing most of you are doing for free. Think. When Julie Hoffman signed up for the first ever round of the 12 week body transformation program, the 40 year old mum was 115 kilos, depressed, smoked, drank, overate and had no social life. In her own words, she was pretty much at the end of the road. Fast forward three years and Hoffman lost 43 kilos, became a personal trainer and broke the world burpee record, doing 40 burpees in a minute and 1,500 in an hour. What the actual fuck? She still signs up to the 12 week body transformation every time it launches and has not missed a round. The 12 week body transformation is a program designed and presented by Michelle Bridges, who started out working in a gym in Sydney. Not satisfied with the impact she was having by just working in a gym, she decided to stalk a local TV host and pitch the idea of a fitness segment on a popular daytime TV show here in Australia. Eventually, the TV host organized a meeting with the producers just to shut her up. That fitness segment went on to become its own TV show called The Biggest Loser, and Michelle Bridges was catapulted to fame as the no-holds-barred, no-bullshit trainer on the show who helped contestants win by losing the most weight. Michelle became so overwhelmed with requests for diet and fitness advice that she decided to package up her knowledge into a product actually several products, cookbooks, fitness DVDs, and eventually once the Australian internet caught up with the rest of the world and allowed for reliable video streaming, she put up an online membership program called the 12 week body transformation, which contributed to her generating over $60 million in revenue back in 2018. Now, if Michelle Bridges had just sat on her ass and been happy working in a gym for an hourly rate, think of all the people who wouldn't have had a life changing experience by going through one of her programs. But no, she realized that the most impactful thing she could do was get her insights into as many hands as possible by turning her intellectual property into a product that she could sell over and over again. Fun fact, I met Michelle Bridges backstage at an event where we were both speaking. She was 45 years old, six months pregnant, and oozed a kind of personal power that I've only experienced one other time when I met Hugh Jackman, and that's a story for another day. Michelle entered the green room from behind me and I felt her presence in the room and had to turn around to see what I was feeling. And there she was, glorious, powerful, and magnetic and extremely generous with her time and genuinely passionate about inspiring the 1,500 people at that event to be their best. Her secret, consistency, consistency, and consistency. Now let's look at a product matrix and plot the value of these different modalities against the margin you can make on them with the idea that you wanna provide high value, high margin products to your clients. It gets them great results and it keeps you in business longer. So that's a win. Okay, here's the product matrix where this represents the value we bring to the client and this represents the margin that we make for the agency. 
And the idea is you want to sell high value, high margin products. Now these five plot points represent what we're currently doing for our clients, which is the done for you stuff, the websites, the branding, the SEO, the ad management, the copywriting, all the commodities that we've spoken about. It's fairly low margin because you're essentially just renting labor or marking up labor, even if it's your own. And sure, it's valuable to your clients, but it's not the most valuable thing you can do for them. Now, if you're really savvy and you've worked out how to resell a white label partner's service or another agency service, then they might have more efficiencies and better infrastructure than you, which means there's more margin in it for you, but it's really the same value for your client. This here represents any info products that you might have in the business, uh, tripwire products, eBooks, any online courses, potentially more valuable to your client, you could argue, because you are teaching them to fish and giving them frameworks and assets that they can keep in their business, but you have to sell a lot of them to make any money. Typically, what a lot of us do is give away free advice here in the hope of getting hired to deliver the thing. It's valuable for your client. There's no margin in it for you. Stop doing that, otherwise you'll go broke. The best thing that you can do for your clients, the most valuable thing you can do, and the thing that is the highest margin is to sell them your insights. And the reason this is the most valuable thing you can do for your clients is because you could fast track their results or prevent them from spending months or years going down the wrong path and employing the wrong strategy. It's very high margin for you because you get to charge a premium. And by the way, the more you charge for your insights, the more valuable they become to your client. I'll just let you think on that for a moment. So ask yourself, where are you spending most of your time? What are you selling to your clients? What category does it fit into? And how can you elevate up the chain here so that you are providing more high value, high margin products to your clients. Now, I'm not suggesting that you all need to package up your knowledge into a book or an online course, although there are incredible benefits in doing so. What I am encouraging you to do is to start getting paid to think. Clients who pay you for your insights and experience will also pay you a lot more for the implementation because getting paid for your knowledge elevates you to a level of authority that you otherwise wouldn't be able to attain. And with that authority, comes a more profitable price tag. Products are scalable, services are not, and you are already sitting on the most valuable product there is, your insights, your knowledge, your expertise and experience. And in a world being eaten alive by fucking chat GPT, going all in on the human experience and becoming the trusted advisor is your only way out. And I'll bet you're already giving your clients advice, you're just not getting paid or paid enough for those insights. So get off your ass and get on with it. I hope you found this helpful. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Stay curious and make some noise.